welcome to chapel. I hope you're all keeping well and staying safe within your bubbles. Our reading today is 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verses 24 to 27. You know that many runners enter a race and only one of them wins the prize. So you run to win. Athletes work hard to win a crown that cannot last, but we do it for the crown that will last forever. I don't run without a goal and I don't box by beating my fists in the air. I keep my body under control and make it my slave, so I won't lose it after telling the good news to others. My netball shoes haven't had an outing for seven weeks. Many of us are missing our usual activities. I'm missing being around friends. And I'm missing variety. I'm really grateful that there are so many things we can do during lockdown. But overall, life has started to seem kind of samey. In the reading we've just heard, Paul said that life is like a race. To win, an athlete needs to work hard, to be disciplined, and to stay focused on the goal. We have a goal as a nation. That is to eliminate a deadly virus from our communities. But we also need personal goals so we can stay focused and live well. Paul had a clear sense of purpose in his life. His focus was to share the love and message of Jesus, and for that he was willing to give up a big range of his freedoms and personal rights. It's worth asking, what does it mean to live well in our present situation? What are our goals? What are our goals in terms of how we treat people, getting enough sleep, investing in the important things, and making sure we have some downtime and space. Life is kind of like a race. It's not directionless. Even in these unusual circumstances, our lives have purpose, and it matters how we live. Let's keep up our motivation to live well, to treat others with love, and to honour God with our gifts and abilities. Dear God, I pray that you keep our thoughts positive during this tough time. Help us be patient as we save lives by staying in our bubbles. We understand that we may not be able to play our sports or enjoy our normal activities, but we thank you for the opportunity to spend more time with our families. I pray that you keep us all sane as we come to the end of our sixth week in lockdown. We thank you for all of the doctors, nurses and essential service workers who have worked so hard throughout the past few weeks. I pray for wisdom for our government and to help them make the best decisions possible for our country. Finally, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and always. Amen.